This is immigration attorney Parviz Malakuti, and in this video, we're gonna go over five quick tips for how to choose a lawyer, okay? Um, this applies for any type of law. It's not just focused on immigration law. Um, a lot of times people come to me after they've had a bad experience with another lawyer. Um, and sometimes, of course, you just hear stories, basically, of people having terrible experiences with lawyers or finding out after the fact something about their lawyer that they wish they had known beforehand. So here's five quick tips. First thing you want to do when you're thinking about hiring a lawyer is you want to look up that person on their state bar's website. You need to find out if they are a real lawyer, okay? There's a lot of fake lawyers running around, notarios, paralegals that are pretending to be a lawyers, especially in the fields of bankruptcy, immigration, tax preparation, okay? Um, you wanna make sure that you look, up, look them up, make sure that they are a lawyer. In, here in California, everybody who's a lawyer has to be listed on the California State Bar website, and that is the way it is in most, if not all states. Okay, so that's number, tip number one. Tip number two, when you look up the person on the, the State Bar website, you wanna find out if they've ever been sanctioned, okay, for any type of misconduct, okay? In California, when a lawyer is sanctioned, that is public record and it shows right up in their California State Bar website. Most states have something like that as well. And when somebody's been sent, when a lawyer's been sanctioned, you can see what's, what they've been sanctioned for, what happened, what the accusations were, and so on and so forth. Now, I don't say necessarily that you should not consider a lawyer that's been sanctioned. Sometimes people make mistakes. Um, sometimes you still want to hire the lawyer even after knowing that he or she has been sanctioned and that's fine um, but make sure that you know all the facts all the details of uh, a lawyer that you're, you're thinking about hiring so that's tip number two tip number three is you want to make sure that you're compatible and feel comfortable with the lawyer that you're that you're thinking about hiring so what I mean is when you sit down with this lawyer okay face to face across a table when you speak on the uh, telephone with this lawyer, do you feel comfortable with him or her, okay? Do you feel like they understand you? Do you feel like they care, okay, about the case? And do you feel like it's somebody that you're going to uh, feel comfortable calling over the next period of months or possibly even years that they're gonna be representing you, okay? It's super, super important that you have a, a compatibility and you feel comfortable with your lawyer because it's a relationship that's going to last for months if not years, okay? You wanna make sure that you feel okay talking to that person. That's tip number three. Tip number four is uh, a tip that's a little bit counterintuitive, okay? Which is you wanna make sure that when you speak to a lawyer that you're thinking about hiring that they don't go along with whatever you say. And let me explain what I mean by this. Um, you wanna make sure that when you're talking to a lawyer that you're thinking about hiring, that, that they don't, they're not just telling you whatever you wanna hear, okay? If you say something, if you bring up concerns, if you uh, make demands of your lawyer, and the answer is always yes, yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, no problem, yeah, whatever you want, whatever you want, whatever you want, that to me is a big red flag, okay? Um, that doesn't mean necessarily that you cannot be in agreement with your lawyer on most big items, but make sure that when you're speaking to a lawyer, okay, that you're speaking to somebody that you think really knows what they're agreeing to and is, make, is, is gearing up to actually go through with what they agree on, okay? That's tip number four. Tip number five is social proof. When you think about hiring a lawyer, if at all possible, you wanna to speak to somebody who knows that lawyer, okay? So what do I mean? I mean either a former client, somebody who knows the person, uh, the lawyer personally, possibly another lawyer that's dealt with the lawyer, okay? You wanna get some sort of social proof, okay? So, you know, somebody that knows the lawyer and you can ask that person what they think of the lawyer. You can judge based off of you know, what the individual says. Sometimes you might even want to judge on that person's intonation or body language. You know? Sometimes somebody can give a begrudging um, you know, endorsement. Um, and that's all information that you want to know. One quick thing on this, if you're in one practice area and if you're talking to a competitor of that lawyer in the practice area, you might want to take what they, the competitor says with a grain of salt. Because remember, of course, this is a comp competitive field and if you're talking to a competitor of the lawyer, they may be incentivized to possibly uh, you know, shed, uh, you know, sh shed a little bit of doubt on the, the lawyer that you're talking to.